Live? Yeah, we're good on this side. Yeah, yeah. That's what I say. All right, yep. Pulled up right in time. Wicked as hell, man. Yeah. All right, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. All right, we're the real Hebrew Israelites coming to you week in and week out, prophesying the downfall of this present temporal evil world. That's right, right. First and foremost, we want to give all praises, all honor, all glory to Yahweh. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone. Salutations to all you Akim pushing this word and truth and sincerity. All right, again. Out here another week, all right? The prophets of the Most High God, the Creator, Yahweh, and our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. That's right. All right? To, uh, to tell you uh, the, the, the will of the Father, the purpose, all right, of the Creator. Not like these jack leg preachers, all right, and these false prophets, all right, in these churches and simply in this world today, all right, who are about this world, okay? And they give you a religion and a, 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 a mindset, all right, of this world. All right, but we, all right, we're the true prophets, the true men of the Lord to tell you the will and purpose of the Most High God and the righteousness of the Most High God and give you warning from him, okay? Just like, matter of fact, uh, somebody grabbed that in, uh, in that Ezekiel 3, what's that, 17, I believe it is? Come right up. Go ahead. This is Ezekiel chapter 3 and verse 17. Yeah. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel, Therefore, hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me. You see, hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me. All right, give you give you warning, all right, from the Most High God. All right, because the warning is that, hey, there's some pending doom. Right. All right, that's coming to this place. All right, because this is the, the, uh, the place that the Most High set up, all right, the wicked to be in power, right? And so... This present temporal evil world is just that. It's temporal. All right. He set it up to be that. He's he's the most high God set this world up to have an end. All right. From before the beginning of it. Go ahead. This is Ezekiel 7 and 5. Thus saith Yahweh power. And evil and only evil behold is come. An end is come. The end is come. They watch it for thee. Behold, it is come. You see? So there's an end of something. Okay, and it's this present temporal evil world. And so we have to give you the warning of, hey, don't be about this world, all right? In this world where the world was given over unto the wicked, all right, to, to uh, uh, be in power, all right, for the wicked to prosper and flourish, all right? Well, this is where we make our body a living sacrifice and realize that, well, this is not our rest. This was just the place for us to learn, be right. purified, perfected, as the righteous rulers, judges, gods, kings, and priests that we're ultimately going to uh, uh, be, all right? And Ain't nothing back, baby. You good? Yeah, you good. Ain't yep. nothing even like that. All right? And, and, and th this was a p the purpose, all right, of this present temporal evil world. For us, the Israelites, the special chosen children, to learn. We're in God's school. You got something? Yeah. Um, there's a couple of them, but I get... I'll get this one. Well, 1 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 31, and it reads, And they that use this world, not abusing it, for the fashion of this world passeth away. You see, the fashion of this world passeth away, because again, it was the one that was given over unto the wicked. Job 9, 24, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. And just like that Luke 4, where Satan, he said that all the kingdoms of this world and the glory and the power of, of, of them was delivered unto him. You see? So this is the one where it's just temporal and it's ultimately going to become the former after our Lord and Savior comes, put the judgment on this place, all right, by way of fire. All right, go ahead. Got another one for you. This is uh, 2 Peter you chapter something? 3, verse 5. For this they too? willingly are something. ignorant of, that by the word of the Most High, the heavens were of old, and the earth standing out of the water and in the water, whereby the world that then was being called water perish but the heavens and the earth which are now by the same word uh -huh, by the uh, same word mm -hmm, are kept in store reserved unto fire against the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men you see so it, this is the, reserved for fire you see because again this is the one where you know wickedness gets to flourish this is the one where the mindset's contrary all right to the mindset of the most high god 
get to have some influence, get to have some sway, some power, and things of that nature, all right? So you can see the consequences of it. See, but the most, God, most, most high God, he's a righteous power, man. He's not going to give the earth into the hand of the wicked for forever. And that's why this is slated for destruction, ultimately. Can I land back off that? Answer? Yep. This is uh, Ecclesiastes 8 and 1 at the top. And he answered me saying, the most high have made this world for many, but the one to come for few. You see? So here it is. This world was given over unto the many to go ahead and, uh, uh, hey, well, how you going to rule? All right, and then they rule with a particular, these particular heathens, all right? They rule with their heathenistic, carnal, unrighteous mindset, all right? They have a rise and then they have a fall. Right. Next up, who's next yeah. with your heathenistic way? Next Let's matter. see if that works. <laughs> you see? See, the only way that works to rule for forever, all right, to live forever, all right, is the way of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, the way of life, the way right. of righteousness. Right, El. You see? But that's the way that's going to be ran in the eternal righteous kingdom. But for right here and now, he gave this one over unto the wicked, unto the uh, the heathen nations. All right? Uh, what you got, brother? Yeah, the Lord talks to this land back. And, uh, the Lord talks about how he's going to um, uh, scalp the head of many, uh, scalp the crown of many heads of kings somewhere along the, those lines, you know. And I, I got this uh, Jeremiah 51 and 7 reads, uh, Babylon has always been a golden cup in the Lord's hand. Lord Jehovah's hands that that made all the earth drunken the nations have drunken of her wine therefore the nations are mad <clears throat> Babylon being that golden cup in the Lord's hand is as 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 screwed this whole place up man that's right this bro. place is this place is haywire man come on, come on. you know all because of go ahead. all be all because of the uh the uh, uh uh philosophies of this place man everybody uh 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 goes with this place everybody runs with wickedness in this place why because the earth was given into the hands of the wicked and there's a, those are the thrones that are set upon this place and that's why this place is all screwed up so this is lord is making this place look like a a a, 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 a golden a, go, a, a beautiful like john the revelator the angel told john the revelator he's marveled at the uh the, the the woman is set upon the uh the, the beast you know hey you know like the saying goes say the best for last well, what the Most High do, uh, done in this present temporal evil world will say the worst for last. That's right. You see, and that's who's ruling right now. That's all right, right. Esau, Edom, it's and this is mm -hmm, this this last kingdom is the worst, the most wicked, the most weird. Um, the scriptures say, uh, <laughs> "Look at one grain of evil seed and see how much it produce." All right, you know, if you go back to the beginning and, to, and you look at the beginning versus now, the, 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 the debauchery. These two, a thousand, matter of fact, 500 years ago, nobody was trying to say, well, what really is a man? Yeah. As I, I, I well, I identify as, there was no such thing. Right. The, the, uh, the scripture says, the love of many shall wax uh, cold, all right? Uh, things get worse and worse from generation to generation. Mm -hmm. Without yep. the rule of the Lord ruling, how could it get better? Right. Yep. Hey, because, uh, again, wickedness right. was given a bounds that it must be. Uh, 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 mm -hmm. that it cannot pass right but like i always say it must reach that bounds and so if wickedness has a bounds to reach that must that means wickedness is going to increase until it reaches its bound it's going to get worse and worse it's going to grow it's like a you know a, a tree that it just grows it grows it grows it get bigger and bigger and bigger right, right. and so here it is <clears throat> wickedness is going to increase 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 it's going to get more and more wicked more and more chaotic more and more crazy more and more weird all right until it reaches its height you see that's why uh, uh every generation wax worse and worse that's why every year all right every decade every century every millennia gets worse and worse and worse that's right go ahead hey this is the book of second Ezra, chapter 16 and verse 20 i'm gonna start at 20. they say but for all these things they shall not turn from their wickedness nor be always mindful of the scourge what does it say 19. Mm -hmm. verse 19 says behold famine and plague mm -hmm. and tribute it says behold famine and plague tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges for amendment. That word yeah. amendment means for your correction, all right? For you to, to, sure. to morally improve. But keep reading our... Verse, uh, verse, 
Verse 20 <laughs> says, but for all these things, they shall not turn from their wickedness. Yeah, they're not going to turn from their wickedness. Keep going. Nor be always mindful of the scorn. So that's why you continue, uh, you continually see more and more wickedness. Because they don't care. Right. Because ultimately they don't get uh, uh, deleted, pretty much. You well, know? And that's what you call insane. Yeah. All right. When you continue insane. to do the same things, the same carnal, carnal mindsets, the same, you know, set of actions and expecting a different result. Right. You see, that's insane, man. Right, now. Okay, but again, this is all the will of the Father, so you can see these things, man, and what these carnal, unrighteous mindsets produces. You had some, brother? Yeah. Oh, you had a little bit more? Yeah, okay. Um, second Andrew, <laughs> chapter 16, and verse 21. <laughs> like it. Like it. Second Andrew, chapter 16, and verse 21. Behold, yeah. victory shall be so good that's cheap you, upon earth you. that they shall think themselves to be in good case. No. Yeah, and Even you, and you had a lot, especially a couple years back, you had a, a bunch of these, you know, buy one, get one, freeze the, the um, if you were able to afford a house, you, you were getting these big, you know, homes that are, you know, five, six, seven hundred thousand dollars now. They were like two fifty, three hundred a couple years ago. Mm -hmm. You know? And you, yeah, brother, it's so bad uh, from yesterday to uh, just 20 years ago, you can see a, a stark difference between from prices, to houses, um, the cost of living, food, the whole nine. Matter of fact, you go, you, you only have to go back three, four years. Yeah. All right, you go, we can go on Target right now, and I guarantee you, you're gonna have a whole bunch of empty shells in there. Mm -hmm. you know, and a whole, you want to get you a, 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 a fucking coconut water, a real coconut water, seven, eight dollars. Yep. You're talking about coconut. I'm talking about the. the uh, the cheap damn good shit. You get the real good stuff, like the nature's bounty or whatever, that's ten dollars. Yes, sir. Plus, Ka, El, you, know Ka, Ka. you can't go grocery shopping. <laughs> I went I went I went to grocery shopping yesterday, got three items. Three items. Forty uh forty eight dollars. And then they gave me with my freaking coming all the time, they gave me five dollars off forty three dollars and him needed though. Mm. <laughs> yes. Three items, man. Yep. Hey, these are all part of the signs of the times as well, all right? Where you, you know, go into inflation and hyperinflation, and then ultimately just the crash of the uh, dollar to go ahead and, uh, you know, uh, engineer in the, 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 the new currency that's coming that's going to be that uh, MOTV, the chip, all right, that they're going to mandate and want, uh, uh, put, you know, want everybody to take, man. But the elect is not going to take it, that's right? All right, because they're the elect. All right, but the majority of, of, of the world and the majority of our people, they're going to accept it because they're about this world, man. All right, they're about the world that was given over uh, uh, to the wicked. And so they failed the test. You see, because this was all a test, man. It was all a part of the trial, all right, to prove you, uh, to see who was most like Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You see? That's right. To see who's most like, to see who's truly godly, all right? And so there was a test. All right, and part of the test is us being in this sinful flesh, us the special chosen children, the Israelites, who in that Psalms 82, all right, he said, you are God, but all of you shall die like men because we had to go ahead and experience this sinful flesh. And when you take on sinful flesh, all right, you ultimately die. That's right. All right, and so we had to experience that, okay? But while being in this sinful flesh, who was going to fight the good fight of faith to do what's right, to do what's God, to be God, you see? And to roll with the set of rules and regulations that stem from the mind of the Most High God. That's right. All right? right. While everybody else are about what's opposite. All right? Because right now, what's opposite, you can flourish a little bit. You can get a little bit of power right now. The scripture says folly is set in great dignity. Yep. Yep, right. folly is set in great dignity in this present temporal evil world, man. All right? You get all kind of, you know, accolades and glory and riches and fortune and fame being about wicked, carnal, unrighteous mindsets. You see? And that's why the, the Lord told us, hey, to make our bodies a living sacrifice right now, man. Because right now we're just strangers and pilgrims here, all right, on our way to the sacred place, which is the kingdom of heaven, man. Uh, you had something though? Yeah, uh, El, uh, Salaki, I'm gonna go back to uh, what you had spoke on to start the uh, lesson. Did you see it? With, uh, 
you know, you gave the warning because the prophets are here to warn you of what's to happen. Right. I mean, if you're old enough, you remember the, uh, the program Lost in Space. The robot would say, warning, warning, danger, Will Robinson. So he's giving you a warning of what's happening like the prophets and ourselves are doing right now. This is Ezekiel 3 and 17, and it reads, Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Right, and what does a watchman do? All right, they watch to see what's going on, what's coming in, and whether it be, you know, some some, some impending <laughs> doom that's coming, some Come. enemy fire that's, that's right. coming, all right, or some friends that's coming, whatever the case may be. And then you sound the trumpet, all right, according to what is actually coming, all right? So Come. the watchmen are on the watch seeing, they foresee the things before it gets here. That's right. And then they tell the people of what is coming. That's right. Go ahead. Therefore, hear the word at my mouth. So hear the word at my mouth. We're talking about the word of God, which is his will. All right. Which is the things that's going to come to pass. That's right. And so before they come to pass, the most High said before they spring forth, before his word, his prophecies, his will, before they spring forth, I tell you of them. All right. How do he tell you of them? By way of the prophets, those that he chose, that's right. called, rose and sent and speaks through go ahead and give the warning from me give them warning all right give them warning now if you can hit that scripture real quick yeah this is uh job chapter 20 verse 4 knowest thou not this of old since man was placed upon earth uh-huh that the triumphing of the wicked is short and the joy of the hypocrite but for a moment now read verse 4 again Knowest thou not this of old? Knowest thou not this of old? All right, because here it is. History should tell you, all right, that you know what? When you rule with an unrighteous mindset, you're going to have a downfall. Right. Woo! Right. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. You're going to lose, ultimately. You see, don't history tell you this? Things that has already happened, things that, you, you know, you, you've experienced before. <laughs> And that's what I say, you know, uh, insane is like, you know, trying the same thing, thinking that you're going to get a different result. That's every it. time you're about unrighteousness, every time you're about wickedness, anything that's contrary to the righteousness of the most high God, the creator, you go down. That's mm -hmm. it. And see, yes, because judgment <laughs> is not executed speedily against, against, the, uh, against the wicked, their hearts are fully set in them to do evil. Yep. All right, because they think, oh, shit. Like somebody told me um, after a, a horrific accident that you know injured their child, um, that wasn't God. Wow. Uh, uh, that wasn't God. Wow. Uh, oh, God didn't do that. Oh, so something can happen without God's permission. Okay. Yeah. You're right. But Clinically that, insane. Absolutely. <laughs> and then when you think that way, to you live membrane. that way. As you're moving and you're living day to day. You start stacking sin on sin. That's why the scripture says, uh, 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 be not forgetful or mindful to, uh, to add sin unto sin. All right? Be not without fear. Yeah, yeah, come get that real five. quick so I don't uh, put you in the lock. Uh, it's the rock five yeah. and. Uh, we got it. Around five or something. But that's the hubris five of men. One, brother. That's the hubris of men. All right? What you, uh, the pride is the beginning. Pride is the beginning of sin. And once you think the Lord ain't going to do nothing, the Lord is a salty and the Lord got you, man, you just fooled yourself. Right. Because you didn't fool the Lord. Right. And you didn't fool the men of the Lord. Right. You fooled yourself. Mind playing tricks on you. <laughs> the delusion. Dun, dun, That's the delusion. Dun, 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 dun. You got it. Go ahead, bro. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 5 and verse 5. Concerning propitiation. 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 And that's, that, matter of fact, the atonement was a uh, propitiation yeah. to the Most High. Yeah. That's how you get yourself back into the cleansing and the clearing of the Most High. Right. Our Lord and Savior is the proprietor. That's right. Go ahead. Concerning like, propitiation. Like, propitiation. Concerning propitiation, be not without fear to add sin unto sin. And Jake don't mind adding sin to sin. Matter of fact, they make a good, they make a career out of it. Right. Out of it right? They, matter of fact, the scriptures say, uh, their deeds surpass the deeds of the wicked. Right. So they do wickedly even bow. They got an A, they got an A plus right. in wicked. Right. They got a PhD in wicked. Go ahead. Con, this is verse five, uh, verse six. And say not, his mercy is great. He will be pacified for the multitude of my sins. For mercy and wrath come from him. And in and his indignation 
resteth upon sinners. That's right. I mean, you got you ever con. So you, I like it. Go ahead, you break it down. Like the elder Uriah said, all these jakes are so uh, ready to add sin unto sin, oh, and help. you know one of the main reasons why they like that is because they got this JC spirit on them where they think that the Lord is just gonna let them do whatever they want to do. Right. And all I got to do is say sorry and then I'm gonna wake up tomorrow and I'm gonna do this shit again. Right. And I'm gonna just keep saying sorry, sorry. and the yeah, Lord yeah. gonna let me take advantage of them. And, that, and that's not how it is, man. The Lord is like, no, 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 go ahead. You know, the Lord is taking account of everything and, and we all have to answer for the things that we've done. And you know, like the scriptures say, because uh, judgment against an evil work is not executed speedily, you know, the hearts of men are set to do evil, roughly paraphrasing, and that's how these jakes are, man. Right, well, because really, that, that's the heathen, how the heathen are, but our people are now heathen-minded. Oh, right. They're just like heathen, you see? So here it is, just like you said, she was like, you know, uh, it wasn't because of the Lord, nah, it wasn't because, you know what I'm saying? This is the mindset of our people now, okay? But they're gonna find out, they're gonna get a rude awakening, man. Mm -hmm. They're gonna get a rude awakening, but uh, who was? Who was I, got, who, I, got, I, got, I got one. Uh, go ahead. One, Isaiah thirty, Isaiah chapter thirty-three and verse six. Wisdom it say, and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy time. <laughs> right, 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 right. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy time uh -huh. and strength of salvation. The fear of Yahweh is his treasure. All right, so yeah, you want to um, obtain that favor with the Lord, you got to have fear with him, man. That's what a treasure land. That's right, right, right. When you fear, you how about you know I shot? And you, to, to know how to move, what, what judgment is going forward in these last days, you want to be afraid to ask sin to punch in. Right. right. Why Lord um, let people get ate by alligators and all type of crazy shit. So, That's Elder, it. real quick, uh, for Eve to uh, kick it tonight and have a train ran on her, she thinks she can go to church tomorrow, wash up, shower up. Whoa. And it's forgiven because I'm going to give JC his praise. Right. And no, no we're going to forget going. about that. I was just Boy, lost in the moment. Right. Nope. It don't work like that, Come man. Come on, Elder. You know? So uh, who has something? Go something. ahead, brother. Uh, this is what I've been trying to bring out because it's been going through Ecclesiastes <laughs> 8 11. Because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily. That's right. Therefore, the heart of the sons of men <laughs> Is fully set in them to do evil. To do See, evil. just cause you have a fire shot, you have a shot. Don't punish you wicked ass niggas right away. Don't think you getting away with shit, man. Because judgment coming to you, wicked motherfuckers. You know, but his elect, we can't get away with nothing, man. It seems like soon as you man, <laughs> sneeze, me, man. Uh, <laughs> I said, damn, I, everything going wrong. What that? What did I do, Lord? Man, we man. But you motherfuckers, is that, that Job 14 and 5, man, he letting y'all reach that height, okay? Yeah. That height, you know what I'm saying? That bounds that you cannot surpass. Yeah. And when it, 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 it's already up to the heavens, but you Breaking wicked motherfuckers, up. man, fuck y'all, man. Hey, hey, right. hey, the scripture says yeah. uh, the most high requireth that, that was, which is past. That's right. it, that's he it. He requires that. that. Yeah. So you can think that you're getting away, or you can think that you got away. There yeah. you go. Come on, come on. brother. I got this, and I'll say this, man. It's actually good that we see more wickedness because as wickedness increases, that means this judgment is bound to happen at some point. Yes, that, yeah, like, the judgment is getting close. That's mm -hmm. right, because yep. it's part of prophecy. Yep. Well, I was going to say, you know, hey, now, of course, hey, we're still got that spirit, like uh, righteous lot where we get vexed. Yeah. But at the same time, hey, don't let it bother you too much because you know what? You got to see more Transformers, all right? All right you got to see more murders. You got to see more... Uh, uh, <laughs> Moism, you know what I'm saying? Yep. Right, creepism. Yep. And then it just said it, uh, in that Romans how the Most High God, He's long suffering the vessels of wrath fitted to destruction. He's long suffering them in power right now and, you know, uh, 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 getting off all their wickedness, man. And so here it is, we have to long suffer, man. All right, and but that's the thing, we're suffering while the wicked is in power, man. Okay? And the thing is, is he said that the suffering of this present time cannot be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us, man. So if we actually go ahead and accept that this world was given over unto the wicked, accept that, hey, we're in a process of being purified and perfected, all right, then we know and understand that, all right, and have hope of the word of God coming to pass the part where we be saved. 
All right? Because this is the part we're in where we're, uh, uh, we're in the lower state because the earth was given into the hand of the wicked. So you don't want to be in a higher state. That means you exalted and flourishing with the wicked. All right? And if you exalted and flourishing and prospering with the wicked, well, then you're going to get some of that judgment. That's right. I got, I got, I got, I got go, go ahead. This is 2 uh, Ezra 15 and 5. Behold, saith the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. Why? For wickedness hath exceedingly polluted the whole earth. You see? For wickedness hath exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hurtful works are fulfilled. Are fulfilled according to the will of the Father in the bounds, all right, that the Father gave to uh, uh, wickedness, all That's right? right. Come that on, now. It cannot pass, but it must reach. That's right. Come on, yes, come sir. on now. I got a little more. Uh -huh. Verse 7. Therefore saith the Lord, I will hold my tongue no more. Right. See, right now he's holding his tongue while his word is g g being fulfilled. That's right. While the time that was given to the wicked is being fulfilled, he's holding his tongue. That's right. He's letting it all happen. That's right. it. That's why all this rape, rob, murder, death, kill, wars, envy, sickness, yeah. all these things that's happening every day in the earth, the Lord is with it because this is his will. You see? You must understand that. That's right. Nothing goes on without it being the will of the Father, man. That's right. Go this, ahead. I got a little more. It says, uh, I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness, which they profanely commit. Neither will I suffer them in the, those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves. See, he said he's not going to suffer them any longer once they reach that height, that bounds that they cannot pass. Another word for suffer is allowed. All right, so he's not going to allow them to go past the bounds that he gave them. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. And it says, behold, the innocent and righteous blood cried unto me. So while the wicked is reaching that, that bounds, well, the righteous are crying. That's right. right. Sighing and crying. That's Vexed right. with the filthy conversation of the wicked, making their bodies a living sacrifice, begging the Lord to hurry, hasten that day. That's right. Asking how long, how long, Lord? Yep. Right? Go ahead. And, and the souls of the just complain continually. Yep. And therefore saith the Lord, I will surely avenge them Woo! and receive unto me all the innocent blood from among them. Wow. And what does it say? Uh, 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 what is it in the book of Luke? It talks about how, um, uh, 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 what is it? He has mercy upon his elect. How is that word? Uh, yeah, um, grace and mercy to his elect. Somebody yeah. find that for him. Hey, but I love that. What's the last thing he said, though? What's the last thing he said? It says right here, um, the little ones or something, uh, offended me and my young. Offended ones, what you just read it. Just yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll keep reading. This is, the, uh, the read, read the last one you just read. Verse 9, and therefore saith the Lord, I will surely avenge them and receive unto me all the innocent blood yes. from among them. See, now, first of all, who's that innocent blood? All right, first of all, we won't call ourselves innocent because we know a lot of <laughs> motherfucking dirt. See, but the Lord says to become an innocent one, to become a hopeful, righteous elect, all we must do is repent to him, uh, uh, pray to him, pray toward the east, come back to come back to the law, statutes, commandments, to the best of our ability, and, and start living and doing. Right, right? well, it said walk so even as, as he, he exactly. Yahweh Shai, our Lord and Savior, walk. So if that's the innocent one walking like, like the elders said, Yahweh Shai said us to walk, we are the hopeful, innocent ones, man. And this is what, how the mindset of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai said, read that again, man, because you got to understand we have a great fighter fighting for us who already won the battle. Yeah. That's right. All we got to do is do our part. We don't have to worry about everything he had to worry about. Yeah, All right. we had to do is do move, go wherever the lamb tell us to go. That's right. Right. Yeah. Read it again. And right. just show you how much he cared for us. Man. Yep. It says, um, 2 Ezra 15 and 9, And therefore saith the Lord, I will surely avenge them, and, and uh, the book of Luke says that he's going to uh, surely uh, avenge uh, uh, the elect, man. Sure. All right. That them is talking about the elect. Yep. No one else. Nope. Okay. He Look, he ain't he ain't for the, uh, the, those Jehovah's Witnesses and right. Christians, nope. you know what I'm saying? Nope. Worshiping idols. He, he ain't, you know, with, with, with all these cartel members and, and, and these Pookie and Ray Ray selling dope. Right. All right. You know what I'm saying? All these Moe's yep. Transformers. No, man. Lord, it's for those who are sighing and crying for all the abominations that are done in the midst thereof. That's, That's right. right. And we said and crying for the abominations, and we rejoicing at the judgments, man. Yeah. We ain't yeah. forget about 
them geeches over there who got hit by that car on 71st in front of the Jeffrey <laughs> yeah. Club, them geeches would fight and the niggas All right. would yeah, smack yeah. their ass. Yeah. We still rejoicing over that, man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hoping the Lord smacks them over. Yeah, yeah. When you get hit so hard, too, brother, your gym shoes come off, you got hit, all right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool. Hey, hey, right. The gym shoes didn't move, but you did. Come on, man. Hey, but to that to that point, <laughs> the Lord look. That's how the Lord looks at us as His little innocent ones. Wow. After all the shit that we done done, right? And that's because we came back and we bought into His program, right? To His culture, yeah. You know what I'm saying? All right. praises to Heavenly Father, oh, hello, and may we live up to that innocent name, uh, right? Yeah. right? Because right now. Right. If you ask, any, it's another scripture, I can't remember what, I only want to butcher it, but loosely paraphrasing how the Lord marvels at how we look at ourselves as unworthy and how he said, man, that's the right spirit to be in. And he's commending us for the way we look at ourselves. Like we not, you can like, just like the one man who was praying right next to the Pharisee and that Pharisee was, I, Lord, Meanwhile, that guy, he, he, he sat there and faced the east. <laughs> he probably did what his numbers like, because I can't even. I got him. Yeah. <laughs> Forget, you know what I do. Just forgive me. I'm a sinner. I yeah. can't even look at beating on his chest yeah. and crying out to the Lord yeah. in sincerity. The Lord says, go to your closet and pray. Are you in your closet praying? Mm. Which means your own private quarters, your house? Mm. Are you up there in the presence just showing that you're a man of the Lord, but in the absence you're a nigga? Mm -hmm. The most high I want you to be teaching this word, living this word in, in the presence and the absence of the saints. Because he see all. Right. So how you living? Are you for real? If you for real, then maybe you're one of them hopeful righteous elect, one of those innocent ones, man. That's right. And, and just think about it. Think about any champion. You know what I'm saying? Think about Bruce Lee going in to save the dojo from the bullies and shit. When right. he saw that, you, you got it, they came in and did this to you. Yeah. And he come down there and obliterate everybody. Think about it. It's the Lord. Yeah, how about Shimmy? How was shy, man? Well, let me right. show you, man. <laughs> That's it. That's Yo, who's it. in our corner? Yeah. That's right. That's who our corner man is. Okay. Right. True you. champion. Go ahead, brother. All right, this is Proverbs 8 and 7, and uh, you need to listen to my elder because he's telling you the truth. Proverbs 8 and 7, for my mouth shall speak truth, and wickedness is an abomination to my lips. You see? You cannot lie. Yeah. The truth will speak for itself. Con, elder. Yeah, that's wisdom, man. You know? <clears throat> Read that again. This is Proverbs 8 and 7. Uh-huh. All right, there we go. Yep, and this is what's about to conquer all these mindsets that get a little power, glory, sway, influence here in this present temporal evil world, man. Right. So if you want to be on the winning side, you want to roll with this wisdom right here. The That's wisdom right. that stems from the mind of the Most High God, man. Go ahead. Brother. All right, Proverbs 8 and 7. Yeah. Again, Elder, for my mouth shall speak truth and wickedness is an abomination to my lips. So wisdom, we're talking about the word of God. Yeah, how was I? Yahweh Shai is wisdom. That's right. All right. The word of God is wisdom, right? The pure wisdom that stems from his mind and any other mindset that's contrary to that is an abomination, man. All right. And it's going to be conquered and have a downfall. Who said they got a precept? I got one right there. Go ahead, brother. Yeah. Um, to back up Elder Uriah, he said the Lord. Um, I got this. Exodus chapter 14 and verse, um, what was that? Um, 14. Exodus 14 and 14. The Lord Yahweh shall fight for you, and ye shall hold your peace. That's it. So, hey, if you're fighting for him, he's going to fight for you, That's man. That's right. All right? You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you are the true chosen people of the Most High God, That's the Bible. Right. All right? That's the Israelites. Right. All right? And this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding was given exclusively to us, man. That's right. Uh, this is our way that's ultimately going to be written in our minds and our hearts, man. That's why the nations are jealous. They hate us because of this knowledge. They, right. they resent us because we got this, man. Yep. Yep. All right. Because, again, this is the way that leads to life eternal. That's this right. is the way that leads to world peace. Yep. You see? But right now... The part of this wisdom, the part of this word that we're in right now is Ooh. us going through the straight gate. God, right? God. You see, us experiencing, experiencing evil. God. You see, because in the wisdom of the Most High God, 
Yeah. He said that there are two and two. Matter of fact, can we get that in uh, that uh, Ciroc? All right, uh, 33, and then it's another one uh, in uh, 42. It's like a real quick before you get that. That's yeah. what you, and it's not it's just an example. And I can go through many of them. But I said they're jealous of us, man. Envy is the reason why these heathens hate us so much. And this is just a, a small example. Genesis 26, 14. For he had possessions of flocks and possession of herds and great store of servants. And the Philistines envied him. If you go down to the scriptures, look at how many people of the heathen nations or the wicked, they envy the righteous, man. And that's, what, that's why we have a target on the back. We're not even thinking about that. Right. Right. It's just because we got the spirit of the Lord. We have the gold. We got the spirit. We dripping with the, with the spirit of the Lord that they are jealous of that. They want it. What did Donald Trump say to the one dude the other day, uh, who, the rap, rapper who was, you know, uh, made America great again. He had all the grills in his mouth. And he was like, man, I want some of those. I want some teeth like them. You know what I'm saying? They want to be us. They want to be like us, but they're not like us. All right? Not at all. Yeah. Go ahead, brother. Uh, not at all. Go ahead, bro. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 30. Oh, you good. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, you yeah, watch yeah, yeah, you good. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 33, and verse 15. So look upon all the works of the Most High, and there are two and two. So it says, look upon the works of the Most High, and there are two and two. You see, the wisdom of the Most High God within the wisdom of the Most High God is balanced. So if it's balanced, that means everything has its opposite. Right. You see? So mm. if there is good, well then what's the opposite of good? Bad, evil, right? right. And that's why in that, uh, somebody real quick give me that Isaiah 45 and seven, I believe it is. All right, because again, we're talking about the wisdom of the Most High God, all right? And again, within the wisdom of the Most High God, there is balance. So read that. Isaiah 45 and 7. Uh-huh. I formed the light. So the Most High God said, I formed the light. And create darkness. Well, what's the opposite of light? Darkness. He said, I formed the light. I create darkness. I if, make peace and create evil. If I may. See, people, that's just one dude on the Instagram or one of the one of them platforms going around trying to use this as, as if God is the devil and God is wicked and so forth. If God is the creator of all, and he said, yeah, everything is two and two. You can't have cold without hot. All right, Ecclesiastes, the third chapter, I believe. Uh, was it the first chapter or the third chapter? Third. What is it, the, the third chapter when you said, um, you can't have hate without love. You can't have um, night without day. There's a dichotomy to all things in life. So if you're going to have something good, you're going to have something evil. Right. And, and who's not the one to control it? The Lord. All right? And that's in righteousness right. for the record. Yep. Go ahead, brother. Uh, no, 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 get back in that Isaiah. This Isaiah 45 and 7. Uh -huh. I form the light and create darkness. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, Yahweh, do all these things. I, the Lord, the Most High God, all right, the Creator, He do all these things. You see? Because again, there's an opposite of everything. Now go ahead and read that. That's right. I'm gonna uh, start the top 15. Go ahead. This is the first, uh, book of Sirach, chapter 33 and verse 15. Yes, sir. So look upon all the works of the Most High, uh -huh. and there are two and two, you go. one against another. Now, I'm gonna get this one. Ecclesiastica, Sirach 42 and 21. It says, he, the Most High God, hath garnished the excellent works of his wisdom. So we're talking about the excellent works of the Most High's wisdom. And he is from everlasting to everlasting. Unto him may nothing be added. Is that most death? It says, you see uh, it says, uh, he hath garnished the excellent works of his wisdom, and he is from everlasting to everlasting. Right. Unto him may nothing be added, neither can he be diminished, and he have no need of any counsel. <laughs> oh, how desirable. <laughs> that me. Right, right. It says, oh, how desirable are all his works. He said, if I was hungry, you know, you wouldn't, yeah, how, how could you know if the Lord's hungry, sleeping? You wouldn't know nothing about the Lord. His thoughts ain't your thoughts, your way, his ways ain't your ways. The Lord don't need shit. Right? It says, oh, how desirable are all his works, and that a man may see even to a spark. 
All these things live and remain forever for all uses, and they are all obedient. Mm. The right hand side and the left hand Amen. side. So Satan, that darn Satan, get it, get it. Satan is obedient because he's a creation, all right, of the Creator. That's right. All right, and everything is obedient. Okay, even. Hey, this, 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 this is their heaven, man. Unfortunately, this is their heaven. They and their heaven. They good. The two thirds have revolted and gone. So they getting their glory now, which is some fucking a motorcycle. Yep. All right. I, I was at the jewel on 83rd, and it, it, it was, uh, you know that's a big ass parking lot on 87, whatever. And had a, a, a car, uh, the, you know the bike, the bike, uh, what do you call it, the tripod bikes, you know, that they be driving. Yep. And the slingshot, a uh, slingshot club, you know what I'm saying? 10, 15 people, whatever. You know, this that's oh, that's this their heaven. Yeah. That's right. This is well, that's, that's it. Yep. They have yeah. nothing else to aspire for. This is their hope right, right here. Really right but but again, though. this is all a part of the will of the Father. All are obedient. If you are part of the uh, uh, elect, that's a part of the, the, the that's the will of the Father. If you're part of the non-elect, that's the will of the Father. You see, it says all these. Uh, it says. Uh, all things are double one against another. You see, all things are double, all right, one against another. And he hath made nothing imperfect, man. All right, the righteous are perfectly righteous, the wicked are perfectly wicked, and everything in between is every uh, perfectly in between. That's right. <laughs> this is all the will of the Father. Now let's go back to that. Yeah. This is the book of Sirach. Might as well read 13. Con. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 33 and verse 13. Uh-huh. As the clay is in the potter's hand. The clay is the creation. The potter is the creator. Go ahead. To fashion it at his pleasure. To fashion the clay at the creator's pleasure. Go ahead. So man is in the hand of him that made him. Uh-huh. To render to them as liketh him best. To render unto the clay, to render unto the creation as liken the creator best. Go ahead. Good is set against evil. Good creation is set up against bad creation. Go ahead. I, I like it. It made me think of back when we were kids. Say we had all green army man. Did you know the little stick thing? Yes. They're all green. Yep. Aren't you going to take some of them and make them the bad guy? Yep. And you're going to make some the good guy. That's you it. You can't have good without the bad. You're going to have to. Something has to be bad. Yep. Okay? But guess what? You see the wickedness that we said earlier, the grain of evil seed. Overwhelmingly, 90% of this planet is bad. Yep. Somebody get me second address, chapter 9 and verse 13. Because it says, good is set against evil. That's it. And life against death. That's right? That's it. So is the godly against the sinner, and the sinner against the godly. Now, who got that uh, Romans 9? And then I got you right after this. Uh, excuse me. Romans 9 and uh, 13. I'm right here. Go ahead. This Romans chapter 9 and verse 13. Uh-huh. It says, as it is written, Jacob have I loved. But I'm he sorry. Uh, second address 9 and 13. Right here. Go ahead. Second address 9 and 13. It reads, uh, keep thee far from the man that has power to kill. That's right. So shall thou not so doubt. Second address nine and oh, thirteen. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> second address nine. First and thirteen. one. Thirteen. But I want second address nine and thirteen. If you got that, read that. Second address nine and thirteen. I'm on deck. Yeah. And there it reads, and therefore be thou not curious how the ungodly shall be punished, and when, uh -huh. but inquire how the righteous shall be saved, whose the world is and for whom the world is created. Whoa. So the world was created for the righteous. That's right. You see, the world was created for the righteous, but the righteous had to go through a process to be purified and perfected, all right? To be the righteous rulers, judges, gods, kings, and priests that they're ultimately gonna be. Before them to be made righteous and become gods on earth, well, they first had to experience evil because that's how you gain wisdom, through experience. And we just talked about how the Most High, he created both, all right, good and evil. And for us to be 
those perfect gods to rule on earth, gods on earth, right? Because he said he's gonna, he's making us uh, uh, in the image of his own eternity, right? And so we, mm -hmm, the Most High God, all right, he knew that, well, we had to go through a process to be made perfect and we had to experience evil. And that's why this present temporal evil world exists. All right, we had to go through it, experience it. But while we're experiencing it, we have to have the mindset, like it says in Hebrews, a um, uh, 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 be a stranger and a pilgrim. That's right. right. We're not citizens with the world that was given to the wicked. No, we're citizens of the kingdom of heaven. But it was necessary that we went through this present temporal evil world lifetime after lifetime after lifetime so we can experience it. All for our learning. Uh, what you have, brother? Uh, I'm laying back and up what the elders have been talking about. Yeah. I got a double bubble for you. Matter of fact, yes, elder, sir. but I'll start at Proverbs 11 at the top. Yeah. A false balance is an abomination to the Lord. You see a false... But a just weight is his delight. A false balance is an abomination to the Lord, man. All right, a false balance. So, again, if there's good, then uh, the opposite of good is bad. All right, if there is righteous, well, then the opposite of righteousness, all right, is unrighteousness or wickedness. You see? Go ahead. Okay, it says a false balance is an abomination to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shah, okay? So, like the elder was just talking about, you can't have night without having day. You can't have bitter without having sweet. You can't have good without having bad, okay? And we have to go through these trials, tribulations, and afflictions so we can rule in righteousness and know both sides of the story, okay? That's, that's it. We gotta uh, know both sides, man. It says uh, 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 one thing establishes the good of another. God. You see? So that's why it had to be both so you can see, all right? But uh, you had another? Yeah, Go ahead. double bubble. Second Timothy 2 and 11, it says, it is a faithful saying if we be dead with him, we shall also live with him. So we dead in this present that's temporal it. evil world, no, man. Right, fuck that's about right. you wicked ass, two third ass heathens. How right. you two third ass niggas, okay? Right. right. All right. Go he ahead. Says, <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, brother, brother, the heathens are hundred percent. They ain't no two third. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. So lucky, uh, right, that's okay. That's, the heathens, that's the heathens, yeah, they heathens. straight heathens, right? That's lucky. That's me. But, the, but yeah, you two third yeah. ass Jake. And you heathen ass, man, you heathens, man. Hey, well, I'm like Apostle Taha. We're going to jump over y'all for a minute <laughs> to get to you two third ass niggas, but we ain't going to leave y'all. Y'all y'all got y'all's too. Okay, it says, if we suffer, we shall also reign with him. If we deny him, he shall also deny us. So in a world that was given over into the hand of the wicked, man, this is what we're suffering, man. All right, we suffering while uh, 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 wickedness is, is uh, uh, in power, man. You don't want no part of the white only pie. No, 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 yeah, no. That, no. And, and you getting a part of the white only pie, you getting some of the fortune and the fame and the glory and the power and the prospering and the flourishing in this world, man. All right? No, nah, man, we don't want none of that, man. Because at the end of the day, there's a destruction, man, that's coming to this place. You see? Matter of fact, let's go back to that uh, 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 Job chapter, because we never finished that. Job chapter, uh, uh, what's that, uh, 20 and verse 4. But what you got? I was holding that Job 9 and 24, Elder, because you spoke on it so well. Uh -huh. We got to go with the scriptures. The earth is given into the hands of the wicked. Yep. He covereth the faces of the judges thereof. Uh -huh. If not, where and who is he? That's it. What's up, boss? Con. Yep. So the earth is given into the hand of the wicked, man. And it's the most high God that gave the earth into the hand of the wicked, but just for a time and understand for a purpose as well. Man, flourish right? while they can, uh, Elder. Flourish while they can. That's it. And part of that purpose, again, is to purify and perfect all right, his special chosen children, man. That's right. So that the Israelites can see and experience wickedness to see and experience evil see see cut see you you gotta know like what what is saying ecclesiastes uh solomon he 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 sought out to learn 
righteousness and the wicked. How I'm going to be able to judge the wicked, I don't even know what the wicked is. Right. You know what I'm saying? We got to, unfortunately, but if the Lord is setting us up and we're like uh, Galatians, to, uh, what is it, the fourth chapter, the first chapter, and we're under tutors and governors, all right, and to the day, uh, to the appointed time. We are learning the most high. We're learning righteousness. We already learned, started learning wickedness because we were born up in it. Yeah. All right. And fighting to get the fuck up out of it. But we had to see it. We had to see it. In order to be a true God, well, it goes back to Genesis. That's one of the tricks the, um, the serpent used on them. Um, you can you, you know good and evil. You got to know all of it. Right. All right. Well, but you, you got to know it. Go ahead. I guess so. This is Sirach, Ecclesiasticus, chapter 34, verse 9. It says, A man that have traveled knoweth many things. And he that have much experience will declare wisdom. Come on. So you got to have the time knowing how it feels to be heartbroken. You got to know what it times to, to have, have stolen and to be stolen from. Yeah. Because now it's like, you know what? I don't like that. Like the scriptures in Corinthians say, yeah. what clearing, what vehemence, what righteous indignation now. Because now, you know, no, no, we can, no, 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 don't, don't do that. No, no, knowing the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. Yeah. Why? Because we already got to ask what. Yeah. We already been under the ringer. We already been being um, punished. Uh, for for the shit, if, you know, less than our nigga deserve, but we've been pu being punished by the Lord. So now you're careful because now you have the fear of the Lord. Man, yes, sir. Yes, See, sir. Yes, sir. Fear. So what's what it like? Hey, whatever step, like, yeah. all right, should I take that step? Because if I that's prudence right there. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Right. To know this step is going to lead to this. If I take this step, it's going to lead to that. You see? It says, uh, going back to this Ecclesiasticus, or Sirach 34 and 10, it says, He that have no experience knoweth little, but he that have traveled is full of prudence. You see? Full of prudence. All right? Prudence is that foresight to understand that, all right, well, if I be about this, all right, or if I make this move, these are going to be the consequences of it. Right. You see? And so if I roll with anything contrary, all right, to the righteousness of the most high God, well then I know that I'm gonna get some death. That's right. So you know what? <laughs> I'm gonna be careful. You know what I'm saying? Let me make so Exactly. Speaking of the staff, check this. Exactly. Two two real quick, Psalms 119, 133. Order my steps and thy word. And let not any iniquity have dominion over me. Wow. Proverbs 4 and 12. When thou goest, thy steps shall not be straightened. When thou runnest, thou shalt not stumble. Ooh. See, when you walk in the righteousness of the Most High, yes. you're making yes. sure everything, uh, you have a sure foundation. Yes, you're making sure you're going down the righteous path. Yep. All right? Uh, you're making sure that you're on the right uh, road and way of the Lord. Right. But when you sit out here not giving credence to the Heavenly Father, not credence to the law, statutes, commandments, and let alone his prophets, the Lord sent rising up early saying do not these abominable things the Lord hate right then your steps are uncertain right and those steps will lead you to a way that will cause you to slip and it's called you to fall that's it all right go ahead how you doing lady I mean, I, I, I right, right, yeah, no, yeah, 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 I'm mad now yeah. because I, I my I, eyes are up here, <laughs> shit, you got a pair of eyes down there too, then, <laughs> god damn it, yeah. one eye, it's like, <laughs> That's a shame. Go ahead, bro. Go ahead. That I got, made me mad, man. I got right, no, right, I, I, no, a sheer see-through shirt. You can see all everything. Man. In the ancient time, you you know, you walk around like that, you get taken. That's it. You see yeah. what I'm saying? And that's why field. you don't, hey, you got to have a prudence. <laughs> and I'm saying that if you walk around like that, you get taken. That's right. You know what I'm saying? And, and prudence is returning to the earth. Right. Exactly. <laughs> Shit. I guarantee you in that day of Jacob's trouble and that day of all hell oh, yeah. going that I guarantee that's when the high heels are coming off, the mini skirts are coming off, yeah. and all the other bullshit is coming off. You're going to want to look like that. Oh, man, yeah, and you still going to get got. Man, yeah, man. Yeah. come on. That's right. I'm just serious. Cause you're, yeah. Somebody going to want somebody, just know the one dude who just trying to offer this a fool, he'll take it. Yeah. yeah. So, That's so right. ain't, ain't no escape, but Lord. They, matter of fact, you know the balloon t challenge. Yeah. And that, that all the bitches be with right. the balloons, yeah, 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 or yeah, the yeah. niggas got the balloons, and the bitch come. Right. God. Why did they have the crackhead edition? The what? Oh Why God. did they have the crackhead edition? Crack and all edition. of them. Were. All, all the, the the one dude. It was one dude. He was. Um, um, he came up and he had this. He looked like an Edomite, and he had a little little man purse on, and a whole bunch of um, four about four or five crackhead black bitches. Wow. All right, and, and and they had the nerve pop. They was pop right off rip. 
Why you pop? He'll say, he got a purse. And I'm saying, but it was the crackhead edition. Wow. The crackhead edition. I said, oh my God, you can't make this shit so up. So it's, it's, it's somebody for everybody. It's somebody Man. for everybody. Man. Man, but uh, go ahead, brother. Right now, right? <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Go ahead. All right, I got Ciroc 3 and 28, Elder. Ciroc 3 and 28 reads, in the punishment of the proud, there is no remedy. Again, Ecclesiasticus 3 and 28. Yeah. In the punishment of the proud, there is no remedy. There is no remedy, man. You can't do nothing about it, man. No, not that just. Nothing, man. But when, cause when he come, all right, with that 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 uh uh uh, uh that judgment, man. Smack all right, ain't nothing you can do, man. A certain feel for looking. For the plant of wickedness have taken root in him. You see. So here it is. If you're about that, man, all right, hey, you're going to get a judgment. And this is why we're here to warn you, man. Did we, can we go back to that Job uh, uh, 20 and 4? Warning, warning, warning. Right, that's man, like the robot. Come on now. That, uh, that's a certain fearful looking of a uh, 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 um, uh, of judgment that the Lord said He puts into basically all creation. They might sit there and act like they walk the bam, but there's something in, in the pit of their mind, in the pit of their stomach, letting them know, poking at them. Yeah, it's gonna be a certain fearful looking of judgment, man. And soon as that, it's just like that nigga who been joined right, do whatever the fuck he was yeah, doing, yeah, yeah, yeah. and he think he cool. As soon as he hear, uh, whoop, whoop, yes, whoop, yes, whoop. what happened? His heart. <laughs> Right. Oh shit, sweats. Okay, now he want to go probably get out that jam. Damn, I can't get out damn, I'm fucked. That's going to happen to all you two thirds. It's going to happen to you. That's it. You can't feel off now, can That's right. That's right. Go ahead. Who got that Job, puppy? Job, uh, man, I got you. Job 20 and 4. Yes, sir. This Job chapter 20 and verse 4. Knowest thou not this of old, since man was placed upon earth, uh -huh. that the triumphing of the wicked is short, and the joy of the hypocrite but for a moment, uh huh. It says, though his excellency mount up to the heavens. So his excellency mount up to the heavens, man. All right, they proud, they in power. All right, they got the fortune, they got the fame. They got the glory now. They got their glory now. What's with that bag? You see? But the thing is, is it says, though they mount up, their excellency mount up to the heavens. And his head reach unto the cloud. And his yes, head reaches unto the cloud. Yes, sir. Yet he shall perish forever like his own dung. Yet Ooh. shall he perish forever like his yeah. own dung. Have you ever seen dung decay? Yeah, little by little, every day, get smaller, 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 to his back even to the ground dust. Dirt. Come, on, come. On. All right? That's right. So they're going to be laid even with the ground. They're going to be fucking wasted a fucking way, man. Yep. It, it says, hey. And uh, when the Lord came and after that judgment, he said there was, uh, I seen only after it was an innumerable multitude just a second ago, mm -hmm. but they all became dust, dust and, and the smell, smell of smoke, smoke. Woo! smoldering. Uh, and then, but you don't realize America is a great big desert. All right. It's going to be a, a three part desert. It's going to be broken in three parts. And it's gonna be nothing but desert creatures, and and uh, for first before that, it's gonna smolder for a very long time. Yeah. Right? Well, it says uh, uh, long to endure. Mm -hmm. All right. And that uh, entrance. Yeah, I got smoke. Uh, Let me see if I can find that real quick. That is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the power. power. Right. right. This is um, uh, Baruch chapter uh, four, verse thirty-five. It says, for fire shall come upon her from the everlasting, long to endure. Yes, sir. And she shall be inhabited of devils for a great time. Yes, sir. That's it. That's it. So just and then, like Apostle Gabar says off, you got to envision these scriptures, man. You got to make them come alive. Yep. Just imagine seeing America, the, the fucking wicked, great wickedness, be broken up into three big ass pieces through the, through the earthquakes, through the missiles, and the chariot fire. And then imagine all everything here is burning in the hot. The Lord says the days come where they should burn like an oven. So imagine this of uh, um, millions of degrees, right? Millions of degrees. Imagine this, this the smoke is sending up into the air. The smoke is sending into the air. All right. And then you uh, and then it starts to dissipate and nothing's but just fucking sand and desert, desert man, and desert like creatures, satires, owls, all right, and goats and shit. This is what the this is the end game of not only America the Great, Babylon the Great, but also in a future memoriam for any country, any nation right. that wants to be wicked, don't want to come up to do the boost, feel like well shit, we 15 million miles away from the earth. 
Uh, I don't think my Lord about to come over here and fuck with us. I think we cool to up right off. Right. And them plagues come on you right straight way. That's it. Right. Somebody give me uh you got something? Yeah, I guess let's yeah. get uh second Peter chapter uh uh three and we can start at verse ten. The point is down in thirteen, but we can start at verse ten. But what you got, brother? Uh this is uh, Proverbs four and uh You got a question? Okay. Calling America Babylon is exactly right. Yeah, right, yep, absolutely. And, and we don't know um most Americans don't know anywhere near the history they gotta know. That's it. I only know some of what you're saying, but I know some of it. Yeah. That's yep. Right. That's and right. That's the right path. That's right. And just and just know this: you you look like you so-called white man, right? Well, I'm Jewish. Okay. okay. Well, I'm I'm a Jewish. Well, I'm a lot of things, but yeah. Okay. The, 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 for you to see that and even admit that is not an actual normal thing that most people would say, because they will sit there and try to say this is not a Babylon the Great. That is not. You know. <laughs> that's right, that's right, that's right. That's right. Hey, there you go. I'm not saying he won't want to but don't you surprise if you see something like some, one of them uh, uh, with us on the cherry. Yeah. All right, don't be surprised. And that's why we came. Now, we could have just rolled him off because he looks like a thief. And then he said he threw it. But he just came here and saw this and saw that Judah so called Negro. Right. Why well, he didn't say something against that? Right. And he said, yes, Babylon is great. I said, that don't, yeah. that don't sound like what you look. Yeah. Hey, well, you know what I'm saying? Hey, who knows? That's who knows? why we speak to everybody because when our Lord and Savior come back with the angels, the reefers, all right, they're going to know, all right, whose bloodline goes back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Because right now, although we, so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, we are the Israelites. Our bloodline goes back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. But in these last days, in these times that we're in, we have uh, uh, Israelites, all right, who uh, uh, are called the Israelite foreigners or the speckled bird, all right, that look like the nations where they were scattered. You see? So it ain't all, you know, the, the, the end all, uh, be all, ain't just, you know, the, your outside appearance, all right? Because again, there are some Israelites whose bloodline go back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob that look like every nation under the sun. All right, and some that just like uh, uh, that look like Jewish people. All right, some who look like African people, some who look like Arab, Arab people, some who look like Chinese people. All every nation under the sun. You see, hey, the brothers back here, they were talking. They about to branch off, and they saw them, and they and they just said, "We just said even Jacob." In their, in their spirit, that's how they, without even us, in our discourse, what we were talking about. And it, that's what they thought in their mind. You know what I'm saying? He who knows? The truth. Who knows? And, and, and the who Lord knows? knows. So first of all, because if he don't repent and get his ass in order right now, he's going to be a two-third, Jacob. He is one. Right. So it does, and you, it's going to be a lot of two-thirds who know of the truth. That's why the scripture says, then, uh, Lord, Lord, then we not prophesy your name, cast out demons in your name. That's Yahweh Shai, man. They're going to be going to say, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai. So you're gonna have a lot of these motherfucking two turdians in these camps that ain't acting right. And you know these other camps and some of the madness that they fucking do. Mm -hmm. Adonis, mm -hmm. all right, delirium, Whoa. all right? I, I got a vendetta with that nigga I now. That, that motherfucker is getting I'll waxing so worse, worse and worse. This man, Mosai gonna get his ass. Mosai's about to destroy them false ass camps. The scripture says judgment must begin at the house of God. Right. If it Come starts on. with us. Come on, man. That's right. The and if I can, though, real quick, real, real quick though, the thing is though, He's not worshiping the Lord in spirit and in truth. Come on, That's brother. the thing. All right, that dude is just wicked. He, he he's doing uh, things, you know, for filthy lucre's sake. That's right. All right, you know, he's doing things according to his own belly. You know what I'm saying? That dude is wicked. That's why we. Hey, be, hey, right. That's why we be cursing him out, man. You know, and it, it's evident. This guy has no respect for his, his elders. All right, he, he's going off in the doctrine. He's proud as hell. He's worldly. This dude was interviewing some chicks. All right. At a sexy red concert and try to bring out some fucking like, you know, what priest of where the hell sexy he was doing, red. man. Probably like, what the fuck is the point of that, bro? And it's because you want to get fucking views, all right? That 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 because you know your his videos are monetized. Then 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 then, then he, you know he, he he gets you know these young black men like you know oh yeah yeah then no I'm gonna buy a Sakari T-shirt. That Come brother's on, man. talk about some what don't. You cool? He talk about Fuck some on, don't man. pay attention to what she's saying. Listen. Just pay attention yeah, to the essence. Uh, Shut up, nigga. And, and I want to comment off what the elder Uriah said about this place burning in, in, in parts. One third burning here this way, one third burning here this way. And whatever's happening is happening because it's judgment. It's happening now. California has a wildfire that's 
they, they call it a line fire, a line fire, where it's a mile long. So if it's a mile long, one line burning, you can't keep hitting it right for to stop it. It's doing what it do. And we already know from uh, uh, each season, California's been getting his ass whooped, whether it be earthquakes and uh, uh, fires, that, you know, judgment is on that place. So, man, y'all about to how it's out, have his way. Hey, and that just for the record, you know what I'm saying? Kind of. You know, the, the one ticket guy. See, they all see that's why the spirit of man is different than the spirit of one. Well, it was another man who did the same thing yeah. who was like, oh, the y'all's okay, well, I'm Right. Going, spirit right. on with the broad. She'd be like, um, right. put something in here. That's right, 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 right. And going over beyond the call of duty for her, her, her pet, yep. her, her, I mean, her, her, her master. You know what I'm saying? But the scripture says, He that received the prophet received the prophet reward. You know what I'm saying? That's why I put a blessing on him because he ignored uh, my car and, the, and, the, and um, yacht car. You know what I'm saying? Because he saw what's here. And that's, and you know, when he didn't have to do that, according to his, you know, whatever, the wife of Bam. So, lessons on him. When you all see for people uh, who go out of their way to be uh, kind to the men of the Lord, be kind to them in return by lifting up the name of the Lord on them and say, Lord, bless them. Now, if the Lord ultimately do or not, that's from him. Because he can see what I can see. But what I see right here on the outer appearance is that. Um, he didn't have that same. Right. He didn't have the same spirit that every other one I've seen, yeah. and it was all bitches, yeah. nasty ass spirits, man, yeah. and 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 honorary and manly, and now um um now they 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 the right when they don't even know if we really was to take them tasks with the American law, we can have them, we can go ahead on, we can actually make a, a stake. But you know, like the scripture says, we try to make peace with the adversaries, and we just try to just take the load. You know what I'm saying? But I just had to say that because. Um, that scripture means it's for real. He that receives the word prophet will receive a prophet's reward. So just imagine any one of the great men of the Lord praying over someone who helped them out along their way. As a matter of fact, I was thinking about that watching The Passion of, uh, of the Christ. I hate to say it like that, but the movie with Mel Gibson in it uh, directed it. Uh, but uh, uh, the, uh, was it Simon? With the, the one who carried Yahweh Chai's cross. You know what I'm saying? So, so think about the reward that the Lord is going to give him for, for helping him carry that cross. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Even the malefactors on the other side. You know what I'm saying? One cussing his ass out, and he was like, nigga, nigga, man, we deserve to be up in this motherfucker, nigga. Right. He ain't done shit. You know what I'm saying? Lord, just remember me. Oh, he had faith at the last moment. Faith in the last moment. That was his work. Faith and rebuking that dumbass. And the most high said, tonight you're going to be with me in paradise, man. And he, so he received a, a prophecy reward from Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, all right, the number one prophet. All right, you got it, bro. I just moved by that because we, we this, it's really seemed like it's petty, but this is not petty, all right. When you sit there and tax, tax the motherfuckers 35, 40, 50, 60 dollar tickets, and then you don't, you forget to pay the got ticket, and they double and triple. Next thing you got a boot in your fucking car, you're trying to go to work, and you can't. It's wicked as fuck, man, yeah. over something that didn't hurt no one, and it's not their motherfucking street. Right. Fucking lying ass, and if you go into the real law of it, all of it's illegal. That's why the scripture says all this kept back by fraud, man. And that fraud gets in our spirit and, 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 and it pisses us off, man. Pull you over for suspended plates, you didn't even know was suspended. And you don't even need no goddamn plates. And now I want to tow your car. They go another thousand dollars. So like you go ahead. You just start with 10, right? Yeah. This second Peter chapter 3 and verse 10. It says, but the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. Yes, sir. In but, the but it's only going to come as a thief in the night yeah. to those who are about this world and not about the mind and the will and righteousness of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Because the apostle uh, uh, Paul, he said, uh, but ye brethren are not in darkness that that day should overtake you as a thief. Because you are the children of the light, all right? Children of the day. We are not of the night nor of darkness. So that means we're not of this present temporal evil world or the mindset of this present temporal evil world. So therefore, we're about the mindset of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. All right, that's why it says uh, in that first Corinthians, uh, we have the mind of the Lord. Right. All right, and if we have the mind of the Lord, well then our will now is the will of the Father. Come on, brother. And it's the will of the Father to set up an eternal righteous kingdom. And if it's the will of the Father to set up an eternal righteous kingdom, well, it's the will of the Father to first put a, 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 a judgment on this one that we're in right now by way of fire. You see? 
You, that should be your what you yearn for every day to come. All right, the fire to this place, man, because of all the wickedness. All right, that's going on in this world, man, and, and, and people clinging hold to cancerous mindsets. So people are about death. All right, that's why I say when when death hit home. And you say, oh, my baby, he was such a good boy. Shut up. You love this world. If you love this world and death hit home, you ain't got a damn thing to say. You love it. That's right. You love it. That's right. On the other hand, those that's about the will of the Father that wants our Lord and Savior to come back ASAP. Uh -huh. You see? They're doing this. Now, we can complain. I got it says to you. just complain continually. I got something for you. Bro. Go ahead. This is uh, the book of uh, Ezekiel. Was it, uh, was it 9 and 4? Was it uh, David? Yep, Ezekiel 9 and 4. This is Ezekiel 9 and 4. And the Lord said unto them, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem. And J Jerusalem is a people before it's a place. That's so right. it's talking about the people of uh, uh, Jerusalem, of Israel, the Israelites. Go ahead. And set a mark upon the forehead. Set a mark. That mark is the Hebrew word thawa, which means an exemption from judgment. All right, exemption from the fire, the wrath. All right, of the Lord. Go ahead. All right, and that, and that's the Lord's righteous mark versus the wicked mark. Right, right, and the the the, the, the wicked mark. That's something that you don't want. That's right. you don't want to take that karatma, which is a physical. All right, mm -hmm. a physical chip that you, the wicked, our oppressors, want to put in you. But go ahead. But this one is a spiritual mark. This thawa, all right? This is a spiritual mark, all right? Go ahead. And set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the mystery. That's sighing and crying, man. That's vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked, all right? That's vexed about all the contrariness all right, to the righteousness of the Most High God that's going on in the world today. That's right. Go ahead. And uh, and to the others, he said in my hearing, go ye after him. So, so he says to the others. Now, these are the ones that don't have that exemption from judgment because they're not sighing and crying. They about this present temporal evil world. They are about the mindsets of this world. So what do he say to do to them? Go ye after him. Through, I say, I have a good one, bro. Go ye after him through the city and smite. Smite. Kill. Go ahead. Let not thy eyes spare. Don't let your eyes spare. Neither have ye pity. Don't even have pity. Slay utterly old. Old. Young. Young. Both, both maids. Maids. Little children. And little children. And women. And women. Everybody can get it, man. But come not near any man. But don't come near any man upon whom is the mark who's that exemption from judgment and begin at my sanctuary that's it then then they began at the ancient men which were before the house and that's why i said earlier about uh the, the, them camps man fucking nate all right uh isupk god damn it uh fucking uh sakari all right and if all there there might be a few righteous men in there on the, you know but the majority of them, unless their leadership repent and change that shit and correct them, they are the, the Lord's going to judgment must begin at the house of God. That's it. And that's why you see all the debauchery going out right now. And it's always been a little thing here, there, and used to be one here, one camp, but just a little bit rambunctious than the other. You know what I'm saying? Right. Now it's all you can just see. They all dripping with bullshit. Mm. All right. Because the Most High is making a separation. Yeah. And only the righteous can see it. Yeah. Hey, I had, uh, I was reading. Uh, I believe this was a uh, wisdom of Solomon six chapter in the GNT and uh, it was some good stuff in there man uh, matter of fact right I'm, I'm gonna read it this is uh well, I got it I got it wisdom of Solomon chapter uh, six uh, and verse one and I'm reading in the GNT the good news translation it says so then you kings you rulers the world over Listen to what I say and learn from it. You may govern many lands and are proud that so many people are under your rule, but this authority has been given to you by the Most High. He will examine what you have done and what you plan to do. You rule on behalf of God and his kingdom, and if you do not govern justly, 
if you do not uphold the law, if you do not live according to God's will, you, were, you will suffer sudden and terrible punishment. Judgment is especially severe to, on those in power. You see, judgment is especially severe on those in power. Right. It says common people may be mercifully forgiven for their wrongs, but those in power will, will face a severe judgment. Good. And that's why in that uh, James 3 and 1, it says, be not many masters, all right, because you're going to be held with the higher condemnation. If you're telling people, hey, I'm a teacher, you know, and I'm, a, I'm a teacher of the word of God. If you're telling people that and they following you, all right, well, you're going to be held more accountable, all right, than the ones that's following you, all right, because you're telling them, hey, this is the way, you all right, walk in it. You're telling people to follow you and your way. I got it, yeah. So if it's not the way of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, you're going to be in big trouble because you're misrepresenting, all right, the most high God in our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. Go ahead, brother. I have that James 3. Matter of fact, when you, I, 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 you read it in the KJV and I'll get it in the NLT. This James chapter 3 and verse 1. Uh huh. My brethren, be not many masters. Knowing that we shall receive the greater condemnation. Woo, you see? That we shall receive the greater condemnation if you're not teaching the word of God directly and correctly. If you're not representing Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai righteously. All right? Um, I'm going to read it in the NLT. This is James 3 and 1 in the NLT. It says, Dear brothers and sisters, not many of you should come uh not many of you should become teachers in the church for we who teach will be judged more strictly right you see so when the elder is talking about these different camps all right that's not teaching directly and correctly where well, they're going to be held with a greater condemnation man all right they're going to be judged more strictly all right than those who are just the followers all right of the false doctrine all right the blind leaders are, are going to get judged more strictly than the blind followers. That's, right, that's, right, though. that's why it's imperative to teach the word directly and correctly, man. That's why it's imperative, all right, gravely serious, all right, to uh, 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 follow those who Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai sent. That's right. To, all right. To whom much is given, yep. much is required. That's right. it. Appreciate. Go ahead. Okay, this is 2 Peter 2 and uh, 21. It says, For it had been better for them not to have known the way of righteousness than after they have known it to turn from the holy commandments delivered unto them. Man, man, you turn from the truth, man. That's your ass, Mr. Postman. All right? And when our Lord and Savior come with that great judgment, man, all right, and you hear those words, you know, I never knew you, man. That, that ain't gonna be nothing nice. But let's go. Just, just to add, land, land back on that, Judas Iscariot. When he saw that he fucked up, what's, what did he do? He ran back to the high priest. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't want it no more. Right. Spill out, spill out his gun. Money. It's still right. I didn't mean it. I didn't tell what I wanted. It's not it. It's not it. It's not it. Right. He said, hey, bro, it's not really much we can do now, oh, bro. Too late. And, right. and, and he said, so he threw the money down because he knew he fucked up. Right. You know you done fucked up. You know you he fucked threw it. up, man. He threw Because it really wasn't about the money. He right. was he, he he was trying to push the Lord's hand. He right. was being, he was he was hasting above his maker. Uh -huh. That's it. See, which uh -huh. was wicked, man. We can't hasten above the maker. Now we can beg the Lord to hasten that day. Uh -huh. All right. And but he we was a thief. And we can't put but we can't push he his hand. And, and, right. He had the treasure. And, and, God, and, and, that's and, it. And, that's and, it. And, and, yeah. But yeah. ultimately, ultimately, no, that's you. And ultimately, all right. Um, what did he do? He ran. Uh, he, uh, oh, oh no, I ain't see it. Yeah, I no, did no, not no, see no, that. See <laughs> I did right not see her crash into the bushes. But what did he do? He went straight away and then he hung himself, man. Yep. Because once you know that your end is just final, finite, you know, finite, and it's, you're, you're out of there, 
man, he had no, he didn't want to live no more. He just went straight hung himself, man. That's There's right. a certain fearful look of uh, judgment. That's right, certain you know? fearful looking. That's back, they come back around again. That's, That's right, it. And now he, he, uh, so what did he call for? I, I got the, uh, did he call for something out. specific? You, uh, you read the James, you don't get in that now. Okay, he was about to grab something else. What were you asking for? He was asking for. Oh, yeah, I was going to go back to that uh, second Peter. Okay, so why well, he's doing bros, that, go ahead. Get, whatever go, yeah, I, I was holding some uh, elder. Uh, it's uh, uh, Daniel, uh, second chapter, and verse 44, which reads, And in the days of Lex. these kings Slime. shall Yahweh of heaven set up a kingdom, which shall never be destroyed, and the kingdom shall not be left to other people, That's right. but it shall break in pieces, and consume all these kingdoms and it shall stand forever so here it is you don't want to be about these kingdoms that's going to fall in the mindsets of them you see because you're going to fall right along with it Fine. all right it says how our lord and savior is coming to put down all rule and authority man anything that boasted itself uh, 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 against all right, the mindset of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. How many crowns he got on his head? Uh, innumerable. Many, many crowns. Many. Oh, anybody who had a crown, it's his now. Yep. Uh -oh. Run that crown. Yep, run that. Uh, All right, hey, it says hey, it shall I not be the same. It says take off, take off the diadem. That's right. Right, 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 right. <laughs> right? It shall not be the same, man. Right. And he don't want your filthy ass crown anyway. He ain't gonna be no doing no balancing that with No, nah, it just represents he's taking all power, power. influence, right. sway from any mindset. Right. Any carnal mindset, which is innumerable in this world, man. Right, all right. The mindsets of darkness, the mindsets of carnality, it's innumerable. All right? And all of them is going down, man. All of them. All right, are, it's gonna be taken. Uh, 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 the power and the sway and the influence from all these carnal unrighteous minds. Right. All right. It. So you don't want to cling to those, man. But right now, if you cling to those, all right, you can have a little bit of a uh, 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 fortune, a little bit of fame, possibly. All right, for uh, temporary. And then it's still uncertain because anything could happen to you at any time in this present temporal evil world. And just like it says. Hey, uh, we, the Israelites, who uh, are the special chosen children, it says we are the gods in that Psalms 82, but we shall die like men, right? Well, if we die like a man, well, we can get sick like a man. All right, if we can get sick like a man, we can become a, a, a vegetable, all right? And not enjoy all the riches that you just came up with mm -hmm. the day before. Mm -hmm. That's right, brother. So it's all uncertain, man. See, but with the mindset of the Most High God, all right, it's all certain. Okay, it's certain that we're going to be exalted and rule in the eternal righteous kingdom, right? But before that honor, we had to go through the humility of this present temporal evil world. You see? All right, who has some? But let's go back to that uh, 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 Peter, man. The second Peter chapter 3 and 10. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, into which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise. You see? The heavens shall pass meaning the uh, uh the rulership of the wicked that's right all right it's gonna pass away with the great noise man all right because our lord and savior is coming with that great judgment man and again he's taking all the crowns all all the power away all right from the wicked from an unrighteous mindset go ahead and the element shall melt with fervent heat uh-huh the earth also and the works that are therein shall be burnt up. No more stout. one of my guys. Damn, where's Uriah? Where's Uriah go? Right back we'll check the seat. Uh, oh, damn. Hey, you miss your boy, Armand. No more stout. Yeah, he ain't see me, though. Go ahead. This Second Peter 3 and 11. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons ought ye to be? See, it says, seeing then, seeing then that all these things are going to be dissolved, seeing then that the Lord is coming to take the power away from all the mindsets of this world and put a judgment on those who clung to a mindset of this world, all right, seeing that he's coming with that, what manner, what it say? What manner of persons ought ye to be? 
and all holy conversation and godliness. You don't fear the Lord to straighten up and fly right and cling hold to his mindset? To let go of all the uh, 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 mindsets of this world that would have got you some type of power, fortune, fame, or whatever in this world. No, you don't want that, man. All right? You don't fear the Lord? Because well, it says the fear of the Lord is, is the beginning of Knowledge. wisdom. Right? Yeah. So if you don't fear the Lord, well, you dumb as hell. That's right. <laughs> he said, but fools despise wisdom you see? and instruction. Right. So that's it. That's it. Yeah, uh-huh. You, 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 you're a fool. All right, if you don't fear the Lord to understand that, well, he said he's coming back with this great wrath, right? He's coming back with this great judgment. Well, how can I escape that? You know what I'm saying? You got something? Yeah, I got something for you right here. Go ahead. This is Revelation 16 and 15. Yeah. And it reads, Behold, I come as a thief. Uh-huh. Blessed is he that watcheth Whoa. and keepeth his garments least he walk naked Damn. and they see his shame. You see, it says, bless, I'll right, read it one more again. This is Revelation 16 and 15. Uh-huh. Behold, I come as a thief. Blessed is he that watcheth. Right. And keepeth his garments. So what blesses he that watcheth? What are we watching for? For his coming. So that means we're watching the signs of the times, the prophecies. All right, all his will to come to pass so that the ultimate will, which is his second coming, our Lord and Savior's uh, second coming, to take the power all right, out of the, uh, 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 the hand of the wicked, right? Put a judgment on this place, all right, and all the people that was about this place, and then set up the kingdom of heaven, man. And of course, he's going to save those who were about his will and about his righteousness. That's, that's your garments, man. We got to gird our minds with this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. That's why, could you get that Joel real quick, uh, rend your heart, all right, and not your garments, and then I'll get that Isaiah 52. Okay. All right, so you can read that one again, this and then we'll get these. Okay, Revelation 16 and 15, Uh huh. and it reads, Behold, I come as a thief. Blessed is he that watcheth and keepeth his garments, least he walk naked. And they see a shame. You see, because you naked, if you're not girded about with this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, That's all right? And, and when you're naked, it's just an analogy, right? That everyone got a flaw, you see? And when you're naked and you turn around slowly, <laughs> people can examine yeah, you man. now. See you know what I'm right. saying? And see all your flaws. That's it. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Uh -oh. Don't see, want no see that little, Right, 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 right. I, uh, yeah, I didn't see that. Uh, right. Hey, see the little pee the weed. You know what I'm saying? Hey, right. see the little wrinkles and right, the, right. That's you know, it. That's see it. the abrasions on your leg. What the hell is that? You know what I'm saying? And it gets made funny. That's a damn shame. You got that little thing right there. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Or you get that, you know, you got this bump or you right, know what right, I'm right. You got pimples. You know what I'm saying? You got pimples. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? God, God. And they right, see your shame. So that's just like you clinging hold to a mindset of this world. That's a damn shame. You see? You clinging hold. You clinging hold to a mindset of this world, man. You got bumps all over your thing, thing. You know what I'm saying? You got a little wee wee. You know what I'm saying? Not only do you got a little wee wee, you, you got a little bump. Bumps around 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 around. Around. It what looks distorted, man. Hey, what what is, is going on? on right there? <laughs> <laughs> like that movie, that. What are those abrasions on your penis? <laughs> what, oh what the hell is that? I don't know if people uh, recently seen that. Uh, uh, it's a viral video going out with this dude that I guess had whatever he had and then he showed the, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, right. you know what I'm saying? Uh, just, uh, just, uh, just horrible, uh, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's just nasty, you know? But again, if you cling hold to the mindsets of this world, you got abrasions all over you. Know, you all messed up, You man. all messed up, got all kind. you got every disease in the book. book. That's, that's it, you know that's what it. I'm Ain't no good about it. Man, you know what I'm saying? So if you have this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, all right, then you clothe the pond, you gird it, you see? So read that, and then we're going to go, I want you to read that one again, okay. but we're going to uh, read this uh, Joel. This Joel chapter 2 and 12. Therefore also now saith the Lord, right 
Jesus. Turn ye even to me with all your heart. See, you turned, return, return to Yahweh Yahweh with all your heart, man. That's being born again. Where you, you know, uh, 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 you're not about establishing your own righteousness no more. You're not about leaning to your own understanding no more. All right, you're not, you, you don't have a, your own will that's contrary to the will of the Father. No, you rolling with the will of the Father. That's it. Now you leaning towards the understanding of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Now you submitting to the righteousness of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. All right, you, you, then you uh, submitting that, well, you know what? I gotta go through the straight gate, so I gotta make my body a living sacrifice. I, I'm no longer conformed to this world. And if I'm no longer conformed to this world, then I'm not about the money, cars, clothes, the whole success, fortune, and fame, and the flourishing, all right, uh, with the wicked in this present temporal evil world. Nope, I accept the straight gate. And it's funny you should say that, Elder, because I'm so tired of these old two-third ass Jakes, man, these niggas, man. Uh, we ain't got no good choice. Who you vote? Hey, hey, they say, uh, you found you made up your man. I was in therapy. Who you vote for? I said, the Lord on the ballot. Right. She looked at me strange, you know. Yeah. I said, the Lord on the ballot. She said, who? I said, yeah, how was my Hashem? How was Shai on the ballot? She said, who was that? Exactly. I said, that's our God saved you. Y'all eagerly call him Jesus Christ. But I said, if he ain't on the ballot, I'm I don't not need to talk to you about no voting. That's, that's it. Right. That's now, it, when man. he come on the ballot, I might walk my half ass down there that's, and that's put a vote in. I might that's check me. And, and if you really want to, if you fuck with Esau, go write him in anyway. That's <laughs> Kyle. Kyle, yes, right. sir. Yes, sir. That's it. So let's go back to that uh, uh, Joel. And just to back you up, the scriptures say, uh, don't pick a brother to reign over you that's not your brother, first of all, and of your kin. So ain't no so called Negro, Latino, Native American supposed to be voting for any. Fucking part of this wicked ass queendom down here. Bro. That's it. I don't give a fuck what land you in. Right? Because uh, uh, anybody that's in power in this present temporal evil world was given the power from Satan and from the uh, 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 physical counterpart of the spiritual demon Satan, which is the wicked, the banking elite. They're the ones that's putting the people uh, whoever they want, you know? And of course, they're going to rule with a cancerous mindset. That's it. But go ahead, brother. This Joel chapter 3 and verse 12. Uh huh. Therefore also now saith the Lord, turn ye even to me with all your heart and with fasting and with weeping and with mourning. Uh huh. And rend your heart and not your garments. See, rend your heart. You see, and the Hebrew word for heart is love, which means your mind. So rend your mind. All right? Again, up. rend your, you know, leaning to your own understanding. Everything you thought you thought you knew. That's it. You see, rend your heart when you establish your own righteousness or you just roll with a mindset of a mere mortal man. That's right. You see, he rend my, that. He said, my people are destroyed, Hosea 4 and 6, for lack of knowledge. Right. But he said, but since she reject knowledge, I will reject thee. All right. So if you don't have the knowledge of the Lord, you're rejecting the knowledge of the Lord. Mm -hmm. All right. Because the, the, the prophets came rising up early. We've been here saying, dude. Not these abominable things, crying right? Crying in the streets. Crying in the streets, mm -hmm. signing, crying. You say, we have piped. <laughs> you have not danced. Mm -hmm. We're we lamenting. You have not mourned. Right. Now, I turn on that beatbox and it's a booty music. You're going to be up there twerking all over. Right. But well, I'm sitting over here, give me this holy music, and you're running away. That's it. Simple Duke had just told me, he just told me he prayed to uh, Captain Planet. Oh, just right now, when I went to go, um, to rest my back for a minute, yeah. And um, he was like, "Man, why y'all used to be on 79th and about the bam?" You know what I'm saying? I'm like, "No, it's a different kind of groups. We ain't them, you know, whoever that group is." You know what I'm saying? And then he uh, he said, "Well, I, I, I said, well, just come over and check us out." He said, uh, "Oh, I, I don't do all that. I pray to the God of Fire, the God of this, the God of that, and the ancestors and Captain Planet, like, like like something like Captain Planet." And my mind, I just wanted to just start chuckling. And then the other part of when we rebuke him. And the spirits say, take your ass right back home. <laughs> they don't want free right here. Because I ain't it. mad at you. You don't come get this download, you're going you're gonna to miss the download. That's it. All right? Mm -hmm. so and, just, and just like them ground floor opportunities, man, this truth is the eternal ground floor opportunity, man. 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 And you're, you're telling me you could have got on with Amazon a day one. You could have got on with Microsoft day one. Nigga, you chose to pass on that stock. Don't be mad now that they, that stock is worth millions of dollars. And don't be mad when that fire, like you mentioned earlier, when that fire comes for you. You had a chance, but you chose wickedness. You chose your own path. You chose to say, shun the men of the Lord and the word of the Lord. That's on you. That's it. Because at the end of the day, it says every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess. See, but that's when he come back and magnify himself 
and show that power and, and, and put some fire to the ass. That's you right. see, that's when they have need going to bow and every tongue going to confess. That's see, right. but those who going to escape, all right, the fire, all right, they bowing down and confessing right now. That's right. All right, they putting that investment in right now. You see, they coming in uh, on, like you say, on the ground, right? on the yeah. ground floor right now. You see, everybody about this world. All right, but the elect, the hopeful elect that's slated for salvation, all right, they're no longer about this world. They're about that. They're investing right now, all right, in the kingdom of heaven before the kingdom of heaven is even set up. You see? But uh, let's go back to that uh, Joel. This Joel chapter 2 and 13. Yeah. And rain your heart and not your garments. Right, and our garments is this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding that the Most High gave to us, man. This was we should be covered with, cover our loins with, the, 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 the loins of your mind. You see? This is what we're girding, all right? Girding the loins of our mind with the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding that comes from the mind of the Most High God. And not girding our minds with the mindsets of this world, all right? Which will leave you naked out there, you see? So let me read this. This is Isaiah chapter 52 and one. It says, awake, awake, put on thy strength, O Zion. Put on thy beautiful garments. You see, what is our strength? What is our beautiful garments? This wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. That's why in that second address, 14, it tells us to put off the weak nature, all right? What's the weak nature? The flesh, and lean into our own understanding, establishing our own righteousness. That's weak. Okay, so it says, awake, awake, put on thy strength, O Zion, put on thy beautiful garments, okay? Gird our minds with the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding that stems from the mind of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, right, okay? So, um, go back to that revelation, and we're going to go back to that, uh-huh. Oh, it is? Go ahead. This Joel chapter 3, 2, and verse uh, 13. And rend your heart and not your garments, and turn unto Yahweh your power, for he is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and of great kindness, and repent to him of the evil. That's it. So he's going to be merciful, all right, to those that are about his will and righteousness, okay? Those who have faith in Yahweh Shai and prove in their faith right now, all right, by the way they think, by the way they live, fighting a good fight of faith. All right, rehearsing the righteous acts. You see? So go ahead. This is Revelation 16 and 15, and it reads, Behold, I come as a thief. Blessed is he that watcheth and keepeth his garments. Least he walk naked, and they see his shame. You see? Least he walk naked. And majority of our people, all right, they out here walking naked because they cling and hold. They're girding themselves with carnal, unrighteous mindsets, all right? And again, those carnal, unrighteous mindsets, all right, it's just as if you were naked, man. Because, the th and, and not only naked, naked with abrasions all on your, your right. stuff. Like we just were talking exactly. about, Elder. Hey, man, what's that on you, man? Yeah, exactly. What the fuck is that, man? Right. Man, 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 what's yeah, wrong with you, boy? Yeah. You got something on you, man. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, you, you, you about uh, uh, the modern day, Christian uh, uh, plantation, Christian church. All right, you got abrasions on your That's stuff. That's it. You about the Muslim doctrine? You got abrasions on your stuff. All right, you plan on going to vote? All right, you got some abrasions on your stuff. You nice putrefying sores. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> all on you, man. That's it. Oh my but, but God. You see? If I can line back an elder real quick, you know putrefying. I don't know, That's but putrefying. how about Hashem and how was that? Now it's like man, two third ass day. Man, all right, man. I don't even be wanting to listen at that bullshit no more because they vibe. I can feel it. You know, I know, man. Listen, man. Why yep. am I wasting my time talking to you any motherfucking way? You know? Because, yep. you know, and then some of them, you just try to get the fuck away from me, man. Yeah. But, go ahead. I, I guess, of course, the uh, fool is irksome. That's yeah, that's yeah, yeah, that vexation. Mm -hmm. That's it. Go ahead. Because yeah. go it don't make no goddamn go ahead, sense. Yes, sir. Shalom, 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 shalom brother. Shalom. Hey, uh, Greta, go back to that uh, uh, Second Peter. This Second Peter chapter three and verse. Ten again. Yeah, you can yeah, go ahead, sir. Yeah, 
Look like, like your finger's blocking it. No, it's Okay. <laughs> I, 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 you know what right, it is. Yeah, I, you yeah. got it. Don't bother me, bro. See, no, that's that's the way, I, way my phone works. That's this. probably didn't, probably didn't take the first. <laughs> hey, but there you go. Another shalom, bro. You know what I'm saying? The word of God is out here, bro. And and that's how we know it's winding down. Go ahead, brother. It's Second Peter chapter three and verse ten. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise. And the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Who is that? The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burnt up. Seeing these things. The car drove by full of uh, women and they were pointing at the other camp down the way and then they look at us and then they start all waving. Like I said, and I would just say it, just said it. That the, the truth is out here, man. Yeah. That's how we know the time is winding down. All right. But, and guess what? The Lord said it's going to be a small remnant. So, like, I, I can hear Apostle Tar saying right now, there should be a, a camp on every corner. And it should be. But the Lord is dealing with a small remnant. All right? He's doing a small number, a small remnant. So, trust me, we, if the, how we see the hopeful year of Jacob's trouble and where we're at right now, we ain't got too much long to go through the Spirit and power of the Heavenly Father. Go ahead, brother. You got it. Go ahead, brother. It's 2 Peter 3 and 11. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons are you to be in all holy conversation and godliness? Yeah, what, 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 what mindset should, should you, you know, be girded with, man? What should you gird your mind with? A mindset of this world, all right? Or should you gird your mind with the mindset of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai? Be about what he about. Be about his ultimate will, man. Be about his righteousness, you see? Seeing that he's coming to to devour all, right, all the mindsets of this world will change your mind, renew your mind. That's why it says, don't be conformed to this world, all right? But be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, man. All right, go ahead. Verse 12, look. This second Peter 3 and 12, looking for and hastening unto the coming of the day of the Most High. That's a part of being godly, man, that you looking for that. All right, you're looking for that. Majority of the people of this world, they just looking to, you know, towards the continuation of this world. Mm -hmm. You see, they looking to, you know, flourish and, and, and be rich, keep up with the Joneses. All right, they're looking for, you know, the 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 uh, there to see them kids grow up and see the, see some great grandkids yes, and great great. You know, you know what I'm saying? You know. No, man. You ain't got time for that no more. Nah. Not plus, we already got something, uh, 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 you know, stored up for us, man, which That's is it. the kingdom of heaven. That's, That's the ultimate will of the Father. That's where everything, mm -hmm. all right, is going to be in order. That's where we're going to get, it says the, the, the meek shall delight themselves in the abundance of peace, man. We got this stored up for us, man. You know, do. Yeah, got all that stored up for us. You know what I'm saying? A lot of that. You know? Good, clean girl. All my hoes. All my hoes. All my hoes. I got a good hoes. Sunshine. Sunshine. Hey. Yeah, throw it up in the air. I ain't never coming home, honey. Yeah. 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 You see? They they vicious today, bro. Yes, sir. Yeah, I ain't seen them out here like this. They, they, no, they the yeah. Yes, sir. But uh but let's go. Let's continue yes, to go. It's second Peter three and twelve. Looking for and hastening unto the coming of the day of God. Uh-huh. Wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved. Right. And the elements shall melt with fervent heat. We're looking for that. We're looking for uh, uh, the judgment to be put on this place. And we're looking to get caught up in mercy. That's it. That's you it. see? That's when it, it comes with the judgment. I see that the Passover, which is the Hebrew word, Pesach. Okay? The word Passover is simultaneous. And when you think of when the Lord came and passed over um, Egypt, he was destroying Pharaoh. They did all kind of plagues on them. Brought out the Israelites at the same time. Okay? This, the same thing is going to happen here. The Lord's going to be bringing judgments on Babylon and bringing out the Israelites at the same time. So judgment is going to be righteous judgment for us, Yahweh right as I, and then bad judgments for them, for their wickedness to the heathen and the two thirds. That's so it. it's simultaneously, man. That's it. Right? Go ahead. And then who wants to piss off Papa when he got his belt off? 
Nobody. You know what I'm saying? You think about your colonel mother. Think about your colonel father. And then you, you come home, your, your brother, he, he getting his ass whipped for whatever. <laughs> right. Nigga, you ain't take out the trash. Right. Nigga, you ain't next thing you getting you whipped get too. Up you in it. know what I'm saying? That's it. That's it. That's uh, or they can say, I know you done done something. Bring your ass over here too. Look at that. Oh, y'all getting your ass whipped. That's it. So you, you, it, it's a fearful thing, man, to fall into the hand of the living power, man. Especially when he got his whooping stick out. Man, see. You want some of this, old man? No. no. But go ahead. Shit. It's 2 Peter chapter 3 and 13. Nevertheless, we, according to his promise. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So it says, nevertheless, even though, all right, we, we, we have a, a godly mindset and want the will of the Father to hurry and come to pass and, and, and put a judgment of a, a fire on this place and then set up the eternal righteous kingdom, man. All right. That's what it says. Nevertheless, though we looking for the, the, the judgment, all right, a fire to be put on this place, all right, and this place be destroyed. Nevertheless, what? We, according to his promise, look for new heavens and a new earth wherein dwell of righteousness. You see, that's what we're looking for. The new heaven and the new earth, all right, wherein dwelleth righteousness. Because if you're honest with yourself, here dwelleth wickedness. That's it. Yep. That's in it. this present temporal evil world, man. And that it's because all of the wicked mindsets that was allowed to have a little bit of, uh, uh, of time and power and sway, all right, and influence. You see? So we can see the consequences of them. All right? But once they reach that bounds, they cannot pass. Here comes our Lord and Savior to take that power out and then set up the eternal righteous kingdom where there's going to be all good things, righteousness. All right, what y'all getting in? Give me a second, okay. uh, well, uh, real quick. Give me a second, uh, Edris chapter 4, verse 28. Because we just said, nevertheless, he, we according to his promise, all right, look for a new heaven and a new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness, all right? The new heaven and the new earth all right, the new heaven and the new earth, that's the kingdom of heaven. That's the ultimate will of the Father. That's where the righteous are going to rule. And that's why it says, you know, uh, uh, in that second address, uh, 9 and 13, we will read how that uh, uh, the world was made for the sake of the righteous. You see? But right now, the righteous don't have an inheritance with this world. Right now, the righteous are in, you know, uh, 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 the lowest state right now. All right, we're going through the furnace of adversity right now. All right, we're going through our trial right now. Okay, this is all while the wicked gets its time. Okay, but once the wicked's time is up, simultaneously the righteous has been purified and perfected. And then here come our Lord and Savior to set up the eternal righteous kingdom, man. That's filled with all good things, man. All right, where from the rulers all the way down to the last being ruled over, ultimately are gonna rejoice, man. Everybody rejoice. How about that, man? What you got, brother? I'm holding the second edge of four. I started okay. 26 That's when you need a yacht. Huh? That's when you call for? Yeah, yeah. Then answered he me and said, the more thou searcheth, the more thou shall marvel, for the world hasten fast to pass away and cannot comprehend the things that are promised to the righteous in time to come. You see, it says the world hastened fast to pass away. This one, that was given over unto the wicked. It hastened fast to pass away and get to the eternal one, all right? The new heaven and the new earth. That's right. The kingdom of heaven. You see? And this see, is but those that's, I'm sorry. No, no, go ahead. I'm gonna get you. Those that's of this world cannot comprehend that because their minds are blocked, clouded, obscured, all right, by the darkness, by the mindsets of this world, mm -hmm. you see? But if we had the mindset of the Most High God, it would be clear what this whole thing is about. And it would be clear that, hey, you're about the kingdom of heaven too. God and if you're about the kingdom of heaven, then you're about the, the, the judgment, all right, God to hurry to be put on God, this place. Motherfucker, a whole nother nigga. The one who was on that side coming right around, I'm about to act like I'm moving. Uh, Romans 9, 28, for he will finish the work and will cut it short in righteousness because a short work will the Lord make upon the earth. It's gonna be a short work because of what you just said. Yep. 
That's it. A short work, so man. Because that's what wickedness was given. Man, a short Jesus, time. Man. I rebuke you see? these motherfuckers, man. But, uh, this shit is but go ahead. Okay, this is 2nd Ezra 4 and again, 26. Okay, and I'll start right here where it says, For the world hasteth fast to pass away and cannot comprehend the things that are promised to the righteous in time to come. What, what, in the time to come, what's the time to come? The kingdom of kingdom, heaven. The kingdom. That's it, go ahead. For this world is full of unrighteousness and infirmity. Uh-huh. But as concerning the things whereof thou ask me, I will tell thee. Uh-huh. For the evil is sown. But the destruction thereof is not yet come. For the evil is sown in this present no. For the evil is sown, all right, in this present temporal evil world, but the destruction of this present temporal evil world has not yet come, although it's coming. You see? Go ahead. It says, if therefore that which is sown be not turned upside down. Uh-huh. And if the place where the evil is sown pass not away, then cannot it come that sown with good. Good cannot it come that sown with good. We just read what's sown with good, what's sown with righteousness, all right? Which is the eternal kingdom to come. Go ahead, talk real quick. Yeah, uh, yeah, uh, you want the one that... Okay, this is second answer, tw second answer four. And I start again at 26, and it says, Then answered he me, and said, The more thou searchest, the more thou shalt marvel, for the world hasten fast to pass away, and cannot comprehend the things that are promised to the righteous in time to come. Uh -huh. For this world is full of unrighteousness, and infirmity. And, and that's what it's always going to be until it reaches its height. Nobody is going to make this place better, man. No mindset of this world is going to make this place better. It was given over unto the wicked, man. You see? And it's full of unrighteousness and infirmities. And the, the unrighteousness and the weakness, all right, it's just going to continue to increase. It's going to get weaker and weaker and weaker. It's going to get more wicked and wicked and wicked. You see? Because that's the will of the Father. Mm -hmm. All right? So it says this world is full of unrighteousness and infirmity. And that's not going to change. It's going to change for the worse. Right. But it's not going to change, all right, until our Lord and Savior comes, man. That's it. <clears throat> Keep going. It says, but as concerning the things whereof thou ask me, I will tell thee, uh -huh. for the evil is sown, but the destruction thereof is not yet come. And as long as we ain't seen the destruction to this place, it's not going to change for the better. You see, it's always going to change for the worse until the destruction of this place comes. That's the will of the Father. Are you with it or not? Because if you're not, then you don't have the mind of Yahweh Shai. See, you had something real quick? Yes, I got go ahead. something. Go ahead, we're going to go right back to that. I got uh, Daniel chapter 12 and verse 1, which reads, And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince which stands for the children of thy people. And there shall be a time of trouble, such as never was since there was a nation even to that same because here it is if he said that uh, 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 the, the Lord is he said I will bring plagues upon the earth the famine the sword death and destruction right well it's been that you know uh, in the world before plenty of times right but never at the height that it's about to come to you see the 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 the, uh, uh, the height of, uh, 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 of chaos Famines, craziness, destruction, chaos is about to reach a time never seen before. That's why it says in that Isaiah 33 and 6, for wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and the strength of thy salvation. If you want to be stable in these chaotic times where the chaotic times reach a height never seen before, 
Well, you got to have this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding to be stable in your mind during those times. That's right, man. And if you're not, if you don't have this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, well, then you're not, your mind is going to be unstable. That's right, brother. You're going to be going crazy, all right? Wondering, what's going on? Why is going? you're going to be fearful, mm -hmm. all right? Because you don't know what's going on. You don't know what time right. it is. Right, you don't know right. what time it is. You see? But those who have this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, like I always say, they're going to be cooler than the other side of the pillow. That's right. You cooler know what I'm saying? Because we know what's going on. We know why it's going on. We know what's about to happen afterwards. All right? And it's all the will of the Father, man. And it's all to get to the place that's filled with all good things. It's all to get to the place that's going to be, you know, it's going to be world peace, righteousness, which is the kingdom of heaven. That's the ultimate will of the Father. That's it. This is the message. That's it. The kingdom of heaven. You see, what's wrong with that? Y'all want to continue in the place that's weak, filled with infirmities, unrighteousness, wickedness, chaos, rape, rob, murder, death, kill, envy, wars, every single day. This is what's going to happen every single day. You want to continue in this place? You out your mind. Go ahead, brother. Yes, Elder. Uh, finishing on the, uh, verse one. There was a nation, even to that same, to that same time, and at that time, thy people shall be delivered, and everyone that shall be found written in the book. That's it. You see, so you're gonna want to be found written in the book. I tell you, all right. But only the elect will, man. All right. Only the elect will, and that's why the scripture says, "Give diligence to make your calling and election sure." You see, give diligence, man, to show and prove your faith. You see? Give diligence to be about the mindset of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah, man. That's right. That's what it's all about, man. All right? Uh, did we finish up in that? Uh, on second I got one more chapter in Second you mean one, one more verse. verse in it. It's not, it's not, we'll be here another 20 minutes. I said five no, minutes. I got one more verse in it. This is second Ezra 4 and 27. Sorry, Genesis 1. Okay. Right, 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 right. Hold on. Who told How's you to go that far? This is Genesis 4. Uh, it's not you. No, no, it's not you. This is second Ezra 4 and 29. And it says, if therefore that which is sown be not turned upside down, and if the place where the evil is sown pass not away, then cannot it come that sown with good. You see, then cannot it come that sown with good, man. Right. The eternal righteous kingdom that's going to be filled with all good things, all right, righteousness, all right, it cannot come until this one, all right, is judged by way of fire. So that should be our prayer, man. That should be our hope. And if that's, right. that's our hope, then our hope is sure and steadfast. Because that's the will of the Father. That's, that's right. right. You see? So, um. I, got, I, I, I just want to get a quick hit of Proverbs 28, 6. And it says, better is the poor that walketh in uprighteousness than he that is perverse in his ways, though he be rich. That's it. And all those that's about this present temporary evil world that's <laughs> prospering and flourishing, they're perverse in their ways, mm. man. And then they're ultimately going to get caught up in that great, Wrath mm -hmm. of Yahweh Shai, man. We're trying to escape that, man. That's right. Okay? So, hey, we're about the will and righteousness of Yahweh Shai, and we're right. proclaiming it, man. That's right. Hey, that makes me think of uh, John, uh, another cut at these other camps. He said, I've made your name known and do declare it. All right, dude. Why, why, matter of fact, I'm going to get that in John. Because that, that's all, that's what, we're about our Father's business, man. Like what do y'all try to say? Whiskey you know? So I mean, whiskey you not? So that I'm about my father's business. That's what the real men of the Lord. We're about our father's business, man. All right, we we'll, uh, we don't care about the rest of this shit, man. We're gonna we're gonna uh, make His name known in the great on uh, a great congregation. We're not gonna sit there missing uh, the words of God. The men of the Lord not coming against the uh, the Lord. All right. This is um John, this is John 17. Yeah. Let's see, uh, John 17 and 26. I have declared unto them thy name and will declare it that the love wherewith thou hast loved me may be in them and I in them. We declare the name of the Lord. We make his name known. We make his will known. We make his scriptures known. 
um, Brother Kazak from uh, 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 Kazak Banya Howard sent me a uh, message like, do you know this clown or another golfer trying to come against the men of the Lord? And I, I haven't responded to him yet, but I just briefly looked at the page and you, you, you look the last week or two every you know day or whatever. And then you go back a year, they said two years, and three years, but another bug out who just resurfaced, all right? Who just got another win, uh, 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 another, uh, uh, just got resuscitated, you know what I'm saying? Just to give another outburst of madness. Because we don't care about none of that, all right? The, wor the word of God is going forth. It's prospering. Like this Lord, the Lord says, so sell the words, go forth out of my mouth. They will not return and be void. Won't prosper and accomplish when he sent it, all right? So that's what we're about, man. And the time is running out. And with the Lord give us that, that those words to speak, we're echoing the scriptures. The scripture says it's running out. Yep. And like you, you said it, the world hastes fast to pass away. Right. I so, didn't say it, the scripture said That's right, and we <laughs> echoed it, and we yeah. do declare it. All right? Anybody got anything else? So hopefully this has been edifying through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shai by Shem, All praises, all honor, all glory, to Yahweh. 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 Yahwe